to a better place is within you. It's not somewhere else. And you know why? God said you can do all things, not some things. And what it takes to bath the kingdom of God here on earth is also within you. Everyone that wants to make impact, you must think a revolutionary thought. Hear me very well. If you are truly a child of God, which is the omnipotent God, you can't afford to be potent. What you think the time is who you are. Until your mind is renewed, your life cannot be transformed. They can give you all the talks here, all the speeches here, and you go home, say, wonderful, I attended, it was so powerful, but good seminars, good talks don't make good people. It is good decisions backed up with actions that produce results. Don't allow your thinking to be conformed to the happiness in the world. I listen to some of the speakers. Transform your mind with possibility mindset. It is time to dream new dreams and face the world with bravery. And the short area I will dwell on is bravery. Why I want to dwell on that is because the brain has a size, but the mind is limitless. Your brain is in a box called the head. But the mind, you can stay here and see something happening in America. Because the mind has no limit. If you can take it, you can make it happen. Plants are good, but until they are turned into reality, they never produce good works. So we must wake up from our slumber. Every one of us. Many are full of fear. And on Saturday night, because of what they've heard from news, but I'm going to take something that, you know, kind of the fundamental philosophy of the greatness of the American nation. Everybody talk about America, 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 America. Even the Americans don't even know what made them great. America has a major philosophy. America, home of the free, land of the brave. And it's called the home of the free, but the land of only those who are brave. Never enslave your life and destiny to anyone else. Without bravery, slavery will not end. I repeat. Without bravery, slavery in any man's life will never end. Only those who are brave take what belongs to them. Life will not give you what you desire, it will give you what you demand. Out of bravery. Only the brave becomes great. You must possess a mentality of possibility mindset. Because God himself made a statement, he said, the entire of his kingdom is within you. Now I'm going to give you a typical example of great people who and the world took their world by storm. Because you are young people, most people are young, and they wonder, is it possible? The first man to ever rule America for four times, his name is Franklin D. Roosevelt. Franklin D. Roosevelt had polio at the tender age. They often refer to him as FDR. He was an American statesman, a political leader who served America from 1903 to, till he died in 1945. He won a record of four elections. A man who had polio never begged became a star. So no matter where you are, you can be great. No matter the child physical deformity you have, you can still make it alive. Another man called Hillary Edmond, this man was the first man to climb the mountain to the top of the mountain. And he said, not the mountain we conquer, but ourselves. The third man is a man called Benjamin Franklin. He had only two years formal education, but became one of the greatest founders of America. And Benjamin Franklin, the whole world today, celebrates him. They even have a very frankly day in America. He was a scientist, a diplomat, an educator, and a national celebrity who was only two years he went to school. A man also called Michael Faraday. Many of you who read sciences in your schools knew about Michael Faraday. Michael Faraday was actually a book binder to Sir Humphrey Davis. Michael Faraday became a great man by turning his world into bravery. And today you can't talk about science without talking about Michael Faraday. Another great man who bravely turned from an ordinary mechanic into a notable inventor of the digger. In the Second World War, he produced 50% of the earth-moving equipment. His name is called Arujire Tone. Bravery turned a young man in his 40s that time, a black American, to become the first black president of America called Barack Obama. Bravery can turn a coward to a champion. Bravery is the cure to slavery. In the word of God, there are four lepers who became great, stepped into the camp of a place called Syria, today Syria, and they took the world by storm. All stars in every field of endeavor have this as the back of their strength. Why am I saying this? 
The greatest secret I have is what I'm trying to share with you because I was told to look at my strength and tell you what has made me what I am. It is risky not to take a risk. You must rise from all mediocre thoughts in our lives. Without a heart, no one can make a mark. And until you have a lion heart, you can't have a lion share. So as young people, yes, they've told you wonderful principles of how you've gone great, but you need a heart to step out. How come, if you look at the lion, it's a small creature. Look at the lion, for instance, very small. Elephant is very big. Is that true? Now the big elephant is now called the king of the jungle. How come they call a small lion the king of the jungle? If you put an elephant and put a lion, the lion is right under. It can pass under the elephant. But what makes one is the heart. When an elephant is before a lion, the lion sees the elephant as a meat. He doesn't panic for the elephant. The elephant panics for the lion. So what makes you is not your physical size, it's the heart you have. Once you have a strong heart, you will always make a mark on the earth. You hear me and hear me well. When I came into Port Harcourt, for instance, they said it's not possible to do anything in this town, in the area where I am, and I laughed. Before any major thing is done here, you must bring people from outside Port Harcourt to make anything happen. I broke all rules. Everybody, I broke them. Today, you all know Five Nights of Glory is a global event. From Port Harcourt, I transmit to the entire world. So no matter where you are, don't settle with whatever is said there. Break every natural rules, break history, and then you move forward. Once you have a heart, you can make it happen. It doesn't matter who is looking down on you, I see you make it. Now hear this, and I quote. It says, he who would accomplish little must sacrifice little, but he who would accomplish much must sacrifice much. If you want to do anything, then go for excellence. Because excellence is the deterrent, a wise woman said. So sexism and racism. Once you excel in any field in life, nobody wants to know your background. They will never bother to know whether you're black, white. The reason why people are marginalized is because they don't excel. And once you excel, nobody wants to know where you come from. Now let me say this to you. Stop talking about problems. Identifying a problem is not intelligence. It is finding solution to a problem that is intelligence. Don't find fault. Find remedy. We are privileged to be alive when there are many problems. So it's time for us to wake up from all the challenges and face them with brevity. Now, yet, because every solution you prefer to any challenge makes you a success. And in those days, computer used to be very big, massive. But a young man called Jay Steven reduced it to a table size, he invented what we call a desktop computer, and all he did was to solve problems. All that Bill Gates is doing is solving problems with intellectual ability. It is not money we need first. You need to discover a problem first and then find a solution to it, then you become great. God created you to solve a problem, and when you solve that problem, you are born to solve, then you find your business. It is a problem that prospers a man. Every gift that is in you is actually to make you a great man. So business is not finding something to sell, it's simply finding a problem to solve. Look at your neighborhood, look at your city, look at your country, look at the world at large, and find a problem to solve. When you match that gift with the problem you are born to do, you're bound to excel and you will excel. Let me say this to you. There's nothing before you, there's no time before you that you cannot handle. The present position may not be pleasing to you. Your past failures may be haunting you, but don't allow them to frustrate you. Hear the good news. You can still make it in spite of all challenges. There's no challenge you cannot handle. All you need is just to have a brave heart and step out. The beauty of the orange is when it is squeezed. You won't find the juice of the orange until you squeeze it. So sometimes you go through pressure in life because God wants to bring the beauty out of you. So the pressure you're going through is not actually to destroy you. The pressure you're going through is to bring pleasures out of you. Stop sitting down. It's time to get up. Whatever you don't pursue, you can't possess. If you are planning out, now it's time to execute all your plans. Let me say this to you. Bravery must be expressed with prompt action. No matter what is against you now, take prompt action and say, I must step out. Rise up and do something about your life and situation. The idea you have is good, 
but you don't have all the time on earth. Let me say from my own later experience, if you have to play football, which Americans call soccer, the British and we here call it football, you can't play football at 35. So you don't have all the time to waste. Whatever you want to do, stand up now and do it. Procrastination can become a full-time occupation. That idea is wonderful, but do something about it. Why do we need to be brave? Because if most of the things not known, abuse is inevitable. I heard a young man who spoke, was very powerful, talking about branding and the rest. I was laughing because in one of my books I wrote about branding. That is not the shoe you wear that makes you who you are. It's what is in you that makes you who you are. Why you need to be brave is because you can't taste the good things of life without bravery. Two, you can't get to the top without bravery. Three, you remain in the, to remain in the race of life, you need bravery. And four, to get to the next level, you need bravery. How to put bravery to work? Let me close on this note. If you watch me, I didn't say Genesis. If you want bravery to work, number one, magnify the Almighty God. You say, is he talking about church? How come America is the greatest nation on earth? That is the only nation that said in God we trust on their currency. If you don't magnify God, it will limit you. They will remain the greatest nation, but they are the only nation that has magnified God on earth with everything. Pussy, America is a free nation. I said, that is the only nation that has magnified God. Only nation with, in God with trust on their currency. If you take God to the background, you may never excel. Number two, look inward. Look what? Focus on your God-given potential. There's great treasure on the inside. What do you love to do? I can see the doctor talking. She was talking medicine with ease. I saw the young man with uh, Ben Weatair talking his own strength. So there's something on your inside that you have a flair to do. That's what makes you great. Number three, despise every opposition. Actually, opposition is a compound word, opposite your position. And I put it this way, every time you see opposition, it means something is opposing your real position. So stop talking about the problems you are facing in life, stand strong, and then you make it happen. All I've said is this, have courage now, rise and take gallant steps, believe it can be done, know that God has given you everything to make it happen, it's time to move ahead and succeed, start that business now, start that school you dropped now, declare you can do all things, go for that and make it happen. But let me say this to you, I said from the beginning that when Ronaldo is talking, he must talk football. Is that true? When Messi is talking, he must talk football. There's no way I will conclude without talking something to end my speech in the next one minute. I have two minutes more. I respect time a lot, but I'm going to use only one minute. Let me close on this note. Have you ever wondered the beauty of creation? Every time you take a bird and you throw him to the sky, he just flies. And if you take that bird and put him in a cage, you don't see his beauty. Have you ever wondered when you take a fish, you put him to the water, you see his beauty. You take that same fish, put him in a plate without water, you don't see his beauty. Have you ever wondered, you take an animal, you put him to the bush, you see his beauty. You take that same animal, put him in the water, you see the opposite of it. Because everything has a source where it came from. When it came to you, your beauty will only come because God did not bring you from the farmers, he brought you from himself. Until a man has a relationship with God, something is missing in his life. Your beauty will never emerge until you go to your source, which is God. Fish came from water. Birds came from the air, animals came from the bush, and man came from God. God bless you. See you again.